Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to create a custom sort order. You can sort the items in any table or query based on a custom order that you define. Today's question comes from Joyce. She says, I have a list of companies that I want to put into my reports, but I don't want them listed alphabetically. I need to specify how they're sorted. How do I do this? Well, Joyce, this is something I actually get asked a lot, and the answer is simple. It's, it's as simple as adding another field to your table. So let's say I got a list of customers here. All right, here's my customer list. And I want to sort them in a particular order, not necessarily last name, not necessarily first name, okay? And nothing in the table right now indicates how I want them sorted. It's something I just want to pick. Well, all I have to do is add a sort order field to this table and then type those numbers in myself. Let's do it with a new table. Let's create table design. Let's call this our company table. So this will be our company ID, auto number, the company name, and then a sort order. Don't just put the word order in there. Order is a reserved word, access to special things to it. Okay, we're gonna make this a number. Now the default value is zero, that's okay. New items will get a zero. You'll have to put the sort order in yourself, but that's okay. Let's save this as my company T, my company table. Primary key, yes, there we go. Close it down, open it back up again. Let's put some companies in here. Let's put in Microsoft and IBM and Apple and Tesla and Ford and whatever else you want in there, right? Computer learning zone, okay. Now I wanna specify what the sort order is. It's not necessarily going to be alphanumeric, Usually things that you sort by are number of sales or the date they became a customer. This is just something that you want to pick off the top of your head. So, of course, computer learning zone goes first. Then let's say Tesla, then Ford, then Microsoft, then Apple, then IBM. Now, you could repeat these if you want to. If you have two number fives in there, that's okay. You just can't predict which way they'll be sorted unless you do a double sort. You could do sort by sort order, then by company name or whatever. If you want to make sure that this list isn't duplicated, you can index this list, right? Right click, design view. You can index this right there, right? Make it yes, no duplicates. That way you can't have two item fours, for example, with the same sort order. But personally, I don't think that's a big deal. If later on you decide you want more granularity and you don't want to have to renumber the whole thing, you can simply change this to a double or a decimal value so you can go 5.1. All right, there's all kinds of tricks you can play, but this, is, this gives you the idea of how to do a basic custom sort. Now, how do you sort this stuff? Well, if you make a report, there is the option in there to sort based on a particular value, but you can also do it with a query. All right, create, query design, bring in my company table. All right, I want to see the company ID, the company name, and the sort order, and then I'm going to sort based on that field. When I run it, now you can see they're sorted in my sort order. I can now base other forms, other queries, and reports off of this. So we'll call this customer, or well, this is company, company sorted queue. All right, it's, I got my own custom sort order. So I can make mailing labels off of this, I can do reporting off of this, all kinds of stuff. All right. The only difficult thing now is putting in the next sort order item. So if you add another company in here, you have to know that you're on number seven. Otherwise, you got to sort this list and figure out what it is or go through it and find out. For a small list, it's not a big deal. If you just want to sort 10 of these guys. But if you've got 10,000 customers and you want to put a custom sort order in for them, then you might want some help figuring out what that next number is. So that I will show you. That's going to be a bonus for members only. I'll show you how to make a form, a continuous form with all of your items in it. And when you go to add the next item, it will automatically put the next item in the sort list. How do you become a member? Well, just click on that join button right now. You'll get a list of all the different types of memberships that are available. Silver members and up get access to all of the members only extended cut videos. But don't worry, I'm still going to keep posting free tech help videos just like this one. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you get notifications whenever I release a new video. Make sure to stop by my website and check out the access forum. And of course, if you haven't yet, check out my free three hour long full access level one tutorial. It's three hours of all the basics. 
And if you like that, level two is just $1. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something, and we'll see you next time.